Hey guys, what's going on? It's Carl here, and my latest video was regarding the review of the Galaxy Note Pro 12.2 inch tablet. A lot of you on Twitter were actually asking if you could do a little video regarding the highlights and features of the S Pen. So this video will essentially go over every single thing that this little guy here does. So let's get started. The S Pen is housed in the upper right corner of the Galaxy Note Pro 12.2 inch tablet. It's extremely similar to all iterations of the S Pen. It has a slight redesign, so it's a bit more ergonomic, fits better into the hole. <laughs> that's, uh, that's what she said. However, I'll do a quick little tutorial of all the features as well as a few tips and tricks so you guys will be extremely handy with your S Pen. And to find all the features of your S Pen, all you have to do is press the button, of course, on the S Pen and a little menu system will pop up with five different options. And the first option, which I definitely use the most, is called Action Memo. It brings up a little notepad which you can use to create little notes. Of course, if you're going to the grocery store, you have to remember to buy milk. I need to remember to upload this video and you can choose to air hover over each of the options. For example, you can minimize this, drag it to the side and open it wherever you want. You can also choose to share this and this is really where air hover comes into play. You can see each of the actual options as a little description will pop up as well. And the next feature of the S Pen is actually the one that I've used the least and it's called scrapbook. So all you have to do is select a specific area. I accidentally highlighted the entire screen, that's why it's taking it a while. But for example, if you just wanna highlight the weather widget, circle the entire widget and you'll be saved in a sort of screenshot fashion. As you can see here that I'm in the scrapbook menu. And it comes with a set of pre-included tags. For example, this one, Google Chrome, the Play Store and Contacts. And from here, you can choose to name and label this. For example, I'll label this as Contacts. And later when we take a look at another one of the features, S Finder, you can really start to see how powerful this becomes as you can archive your work and quickly and efficiently find them. You can also choose to set a specific tag. So for example, I'll tag this one as Google. And when I highlight S Finder later on, we'll come back to this tag and show how cool it is. And the next feature of the S Pen is something that I've been using so much as well. It's the ability to take screenshots and this is called screen capture. And as the name implies, once you've captured whatever is on your display, you can choose to edit and doodle on whatever you want. For example, I'm writing it's cold in Toronto. And this is really great for students. Say you're in class, your professor has notes. You take a quick little screen capture, you can add in your own notes as well. And another great feature I've been using with this is giving instructions to people. So say you're on Google Maps, you take a screenshot of where you live, you can add a few little directions, make a right on the lights, take a left down the street, go up three flights of stairs and my buzzer is 657. And you can be really creative and you can choose to save all of these photos or from what I've been doing, just sending them via either Instagram, Twitter or Facebook. And it's really endless in terms of sharing options. And the next option is S Finder. As I mentioned, if you've been making a lot of notes, you can choose to archive them either going by tags or by the title. And I just didn't realize I had something pre-typed in. But if you remember earlier in this tutorial, I made a little document in scrapbook using a tag Google. So when you type in Google here, you'll find everything called Google as well as the exact image that I was talking about in scrapbook. So you can see how this will become an extremely quick and efficient way to find all your work. And the last feature of the S Pen, which will probably highlight how powerful this machine is, is called Pen Window. And you can just choose to create a little window on your screen, and from there you can run an app over top. So for example, I'm running Calculator, and you can choose to position this wherever you want on your workspace. And underneath, your tablet still works and functions exactly the same. And if you want, you can choose to run more than one application at the same time. So I'm creating a new window, and I'll run YouTube, for example. And this is really where the 12.2 inches starts to shine through since you have so much real estate to work with. And you can see that I have a fully operational YouTube app working over top. And I'll do some video playback to showcase what the quality is like. And if you guys haven't seen Unbox Therapy, he's another cool Canadian making high quality tech content. Be sure to check him out as well. Underneath, you also just saw that the performance of my tablet isn't hindered in any way. If you want, you can choose to multitask in between each of these windows, especially if your attention span is extremely high. 
I still personally prefer to go to each app individually. However, if you have a high attention span and you wanna make use of the entire screen, this is a great way to do so. And it doesn't hinder performance, as I mentioned, of your tablet at all. You can choose to minimize each of these windows and you can put them wherever you want. So say you close your actual app that you're running, hide this in the corner somewhere, and whenever you want, you can just relaunch them. And you've noticed that this is extremely seamless. There is no stutter or no lag, which really highlights how powerful the Galaxy Note 12.2 is. It has an octa-core processor as well as three gigs of RAM. So even with video playback in the background, your tablet functioning is still unhindered. So let me know what you guys think about the S Pen in the comments down below. I really think that combining the S Pen with a tablet size this big and this powerful is such a smart move from Samsung. I've used the S Pen with the Galaxy Note 2, the Note 3, as well as the Galaxy Tablets, the Note 8 and the Note 10, I believe. And this is by far the best experience I've had with the S Pen. And this is one of the few times where I think TouchWiz is working in the right direction. But as I mentioned, guys, let me know what you think in the comments down below. If you guys have a Galaxy Note tablet, make sure you leave which one you have and why you love it so much. And if you guys do like this content, please be sure to subscribe to my channel as it does help me out a bunch. And of course, I will catch you guys in my next video. Peace.